Right, welcome back to the channel. So today's job, we're going to fit these sumo springs. What we got in the box, the instructions and the sumo springs. So let's do that now. Just to give you an idea of why I'm going to fit the sumo springs, so these are the same size wheels and tyres as mine, but if you look at the gap there, you can see there's a substantial gap compared to, to what mine is, because obviously it's loaded up, so um, you can see that the sumo springs were, were going to make a bit of a difference really. I'll have a look underneath and see if the leaf spring has uh, got a curve in it as well. And there is a bit of a slight curve in there compared to um, what mine is, so yeah. And I don't know if you can see uh, the bend in there. But there is a bit more of a bend than there is in mine but obviously this is an unloading unladen van so with all the motorhome kit in the back it does make a difference so i think the uh, sumo springs will be beneficial so that's with the vehicle as it is that's unloaded and that's as you can see it's sat on the bump stop there um so uh yeah, you can see, hopefully it'll make a bit of a difference when uh, I put the springs on. You'll also notice that the leaf spring, single leaf spring, is pretty straight, really. I would have thought it should have a bit of a curve in it. It's got a slight curve, but I'll probably upgrade to double leaf springs at some point as well. And you can see how that compares to the uh, fit that I looked at in the uh, showroom in Norwich. And you can see that there, pretty much off their bump stops so these are the tools i'm going to need for the job i'll just talk you through what i've got so that's a 17 mil uh, socket there with a an extension and that's so i can uh, do one of the space take one of the spaces off as you can see i've already done there uh, on that that's a tape measure so i'll measure the height um what it's at now and then what it's at when i've completed the job hammer and a screwdriver and that's just basically so i can uh, knock the existing bump stop loose standard jack here i'm going to use the standard jack to jack it up i'm not going to take the wheel off so i'll be able to get underneath and i've got a couple of axle stands that i'm going to stick under there just to be doubly sure and uh, a couple of chocks for the front wheels just to stop it rolling forward so we'll uh, we'll get on with the job now Right, so the first job I'm going to do is just measure what the actual height is now and then compare it when we've done so. At the moment we're talking 76, just below 76 centimetres. Oh, so first job, safety first. We're just going to stick some chocks on this. So we're going to use the standard jack, just check how it works. Um, I'm going to use a, a block of wood underneath it just for a bit of uh, extra support. Now, um, I've also, what I've done, I've put the handbrake on, make sure the handbrake on. It's chocked at the front wheels and also it's in, uh, if it's not an automatic, you put it in, uh, in gear. But if it's um, an automatic like this one, put it in park mode and that just stops the vehicle, vehicle rolling or whatever. So we'll get this up and under here. And as you can see under there, there's like a little hole, which is where that, that fits in there. And now we are 
connect that bit up. We need to actually make sure we need to get it as high as um, so the wheel actually clears the ground. We've cleared the wheel. What I'm going to do now is um, put those axle stands under just for a bit of safety, really, before I get under there. And I'm going to put it near where the leaf spring is, um, where it where it, it goes under there. So that should just. Job is to get the uh, get the existing bump stop off. So we'll crack on with that now. Just have a look at this compared to the, uh, the bump stop that I'm going to be putting in. So that's the original. You can see these are a lot beefier. Um, so look at the difference in the, the length there. Mm. That's with two spacers on. And in the Adria Twin form, everybody that, that's already done one just says put the put the one spacer in which I've done which I've put one spacer there. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to try that, see if we're high enough to put this in, but before I put the Loctite on, what I'm going to do is just make sure that it, it screws up all right. Yeah, that seems all right, so I'm going to put the Loctite on and screw that up. This will obviously make it harder if I want to put two spacers on at some point to get it off. But the other one had um, some notches on to uh, to belt it off. But I think you'd have to use a uh, probably have to use a oil filter mm. remover or something like that. Maybe. Right, that's all right there. Let's get this. Fit on. One thing you don't want to do is cross thread this, or you'd be in a whole world of hurt. That's going to go. Be interesting now when we lower this down to see uh, see how much higher it is, if at all, really. Mm. Perhaps a little bit, but. That's one side done. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. Oh, we want to measure it, don't we? Yeah, you measure it. So what was it before? 
76. What was it, 76 before or? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, that's now 80, just 79 centimetres. 79 centimetres. So it went from 76 to 79, so that's about three centimetres. So that's the left side done. Probably won't put the, we'll film it, but I probably won't put it in the video. But uh, so this now has got two spaces on as it came with the larger bolt. So you need a 17 mil um, socket Sorry. with an extension. And then, to do is make sure you put the top one back on that's the one with a nut in it so that one goes back on and we'll keep this one in the box just in case I ever do decide to go uh, to two spaces but I'm going to put the actual sumo leaf springs in at some point just to finish it all off so it's like a double leaf spring I'm going to see how I get on with these anyway initially side right as you can see uh, there's plenty of clearance there to take the wheel off with a standard jack so having said that I have got a block of wood underneath my jack but it's not a thick block of wood uh, if you have a look it's only a small block but right time to jack it down and uh, go for a test drive see just because um, the drive is slightly uneven so this side was 80 unless it's just the weight of the stuff in the van but so now we're talking yeah yeah we're 83 now so it is just three centimeters which isn't massive what we'll do now now they're installed we'll take it for a test drive and just see uh, what the difference is if anything that we notice fairly uh, easy job to do with the standard jacking equipment final job that you mustn't forget when you're finished is to remove your chocks from the front wheel otherwise you're going to wonder why you can't drive off <laughs> right we're just going on a little test drive now to see if there's any noticeable difference Oh, 
was the drawers. So I had the drawers <laughs> open, my remote came out. <laughs> the sumo springs and probably stop your fridge falling out <laughs> when you go around the corner. Should we go around so fast? which potentially could puncture. I don't know, it would be interesting to compare um, the airbags actually, but uh, yeah, it's, um, it's definitely, a, definitely a, a worthwhile upgrade for £264. So um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, what the next video I'm going to do, I want to do a review of the van actually. I've had it just over a year now, so I want to do a a review and I'll talk through some of the upgrades I've done and also the bike rack on the back I did a video fitting that so I'll, I'll stick that out at some point as well so um, yeah stay tuned for the uh, for the van review thanks very much and thanks for watching the channel cheers for now <laughs>